Hello, how are you? This is Rachel from Sweet Bee Paper Co. I am here with week 28 of the Marguerite Miller Weekly Collage Challenge videos. Um, I have a playlist link down below of all of my other collage challenge videos as well as a link to her website for the prompt list. So week 28, something related to coffee. I have the Starbucks French Roast K-Cup box here. Um, so I'm not really quite sure what part of the box I want to use yet for it. Um, something with a bit of pink. So this has some pink on it. But I had these scraps from, I think, a pen pal folder video I did. So I was thinking about using pieces of these. Something in the shape of a hexagon, maybe the thing I swap out. A photo or portion of a photo. I've got my pack of pictures here. I'll go through and pick one out. Um, ink, whatever that means to you. You know what that means to me. You know already. I'm definitely going in with, with the dot stamp. And then the bonus is a piece of dictionary page. So I have a piece of, or I have a page out of the German English dictionary that I have. So that's what I plan on using. Um, and the background papers, I don't, you know, I really don't know which one I want to use this week. I'm going to kind of get some things picked out and then I will pick out a paper to use then but I'm kind of hmm that's kind of pretty so I am going to go ahead and get started Okay, I love it. I kind of had a little bit of regret doing the bird stamp three times. I kind of would, I like the one up here. And then I kind of wish I would have put them facing the other way down here. So I tried to do something to kind of balance it out with the, it's the little things. That one is from Cat's Life Press. The bird stamp is from London Gifties. I really like the frame stamps going off the page. I think that looks so cool. And I know, of course, I did the dot stamp. Okay, so something related to coffee. I just cut out the name of the K-Cups. After I kind of laid everything out, I kind of didn't want, or really didn't need something big from from the box. Anything with a bit of pink, I tried to fussy cut <laughs> these flowers and this smaller one, which that's pretty dark red, but I am not a fan of fussy cutting. I really am, am not. It's so tedious and it usually starts to hurt my hand, but it just looks so cool though. Um, so I kind of like that. And then I added that one for up in that corner. 
the hexagon is what I swapped out for the dictionary page down here. And then a photo. I picked this one. I'm not sure if they're on a beach. I really can't tell where they're at, where they're standing. But I feel like her outfit would have a bit of pink in it. It just kind of, with those light colors, I think it's got pink in it. We're going to go with that. <laughs> but I love how it turned out. It's so pretty. I think every week I think to myself, wow, this one is my favorite. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, oh, and then I wanted to show you last week, I actually put in the book because it was drying when I recorded the video and I didn't want to stick it in there. Part of the paint that ends up on the napkin, some of it stayed a little sticky. Maybe that's the glue at the top. I'm not sure. Something is a little sticky on it, but... I, <laughs> I love that one too, but yeah, so excited to be done with week 28, 28, this is crazy, but um, I hope you liked the video, if you did hit the like button, please subscribe and I will see you next week, bye!